everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge, and this is Cruise Peru's episode number 134, boys and girls, on a Saturday evening. Why aren't you at the Vegas called the Nightscape? Well, I didn't feel like going, and so sold my ticket. I'm actually going to be headed home right now to go watch the game, boys and girls. This is going to be a relatively short Cruise Peru's, because God damn it, man. Just a week of like funky news. It really is. It's a week of funky news. Because Los Angeles Dodgers own David Freeze will retire after 11 seasons in Major League Baseball. Uh, congratulations on such an illustrious career. Uh, MVP of the NLCS with the St. Louis Cardinals. Also World Series MVP. So, you know. Freeze just gave it a, he just gave it his all. He did. I think for uh, Dodgers, he did everything he could. And all I can say is thank you. Uh, thank you, David Freeze, for being such a wonderful part of the Dodgers organization. And best of luck to whatever you do in your future. Because, goddamn it, boys and girls, the future is muddy. We don't know what the hell's going to happen. But. The misery of Los Angeles continues. Not just with the Dodgers. Not just with the Dodgers, boys and girls. But with the fucking Lakers. After a fucking preseason game in China against the fucking Nets today, like 4.30 in the morning, AD injured his thumb. It's an MRI. It looks like a grade one sprain, so nothing too serious. But Jesus fucking Christ. These guys are going to be, like, they're going to give me a fucking heart attack. These guys are going to give me a fucking heart attack. AD, LeBron, just stay healthy. Coos, stay healthy. Everybody at the Lakers, just stay healthy. Please. Please. I want to see this team win something. At least 42 wins. Can we be above 500 this season, please? Is that too much to ask? Maybe it is. Maybe maybe it is. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is what anymore. I really don't. Because boys and girls, in the NLDS... The Dodgers got butt fucked, but fair play to the Washington Nationals. They did amazing. They did, you know, fantastic. I'm gonna adjust the camera here, real quick, boys and girls. But I thought in the NLCS they might face face a bit of a challenge in a more experienced, a little bit more grizzled Cardinals team. It's anything but. The Nationals take the first two games at St. Louis against the Cardinals and. Boy, oh boy, you know, Nationals, this really might be the year to do it. This really might be the year to go to the World Series. Hell, your first World Series and maybe take it all. I don't fucking know. But, oof, it's a bummer. I Listen, I mean, as a Dodgers fan, I'm not going to fucking sit here and deny, you know, this, this shit hurts. I mean, of course it does. Of course it fucking does. My, my team's not there. <laughs> I'm bummed the fuck out. I'm bummed the fuck out. I really am. But like I said, boys and girls, we're heading on home right now. Going to be watching a bit of hockey tonight. Your Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Calgary Flame here in Las Vegas. Again, I'm not going to be at the game. I'm recording this right before the game is starting. Uh, probably they're doing pre-game pre warm-ups right now. Oh, they probably finished pre-game warm-ups. They're probably doing a bit of the infomercial commercial stuff on the uh, Nitron, the T-Mobile Arena inside Fortress. But, boys and girls, hockey is fun. Hockey is fantastic. Yeah, despite the fact that the Vegas Golden Knights are on a back-to-back -back loss, I mean, the hockey season brings a lot of craziness to it. Now, we've only had a couple of games. As for the Vegas Golden Knights, they've only played their fourth, you know, fourth games, or fourth games, or four games. Oh, my fucking God. Can't talk. Can't talk. But they are going into their fifth game. Fifth! And there are some teams that have finished their fifth game and have come out looking hot. Ladies and gentlemen, two teams are 5-0 and oh that really needs to be looked at. The Carolina Hurricanes, who I have said... I think they're going to be the Stanley Cup, uh, Cup winners, in my opinion. That's what I think the Carolina Hurricanes are going to be. Uh, just 5-0, absolutely fantastic, firing, firing on all cylinders. Then you get the Edmonton Oilers, also 5-0. Mind you, the Carolina Hurricanes have never started 5-0 in their franchise history, but 
the Edmonton Oilers have. I believe that was an 85-86. That's what NBCSN Sports said. Could be wrong. Could be very wrong. But, hey, if I am wrong, just look it up for me, boys and girls. But Edmonton, 5-0. And you know what? McDavid, dry sidle aside, James Neal. James Neal. Real deal Neal is back, boys and girls. And Calgary, it was just a disaster. I mean, Calgary was a disaster for James Neal. But he gets traded to Edmonton with that Luke Cheech deal. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, James Neal is back to his normal self. This is the guy I fell in love with in Vegas. The guy who is going to be a 20-goal scorer in a season. Just absolute fucking problem if you put him in the second or third line. I mean, James Neal, real deal Neal. He is back, boys and girls. And I am I am one of the happiest people out there right now for James Neal. I really am. I am a huge fan of his. Um first jersey of the Vegas Golden Knights I've ever gotten, you know, at least with the name, and I only got the one with the name, because holy shit, hockey jerseys are fucking expensive, right, so I got a James Neal jersey, and I got a plain white Fanatics uh, Vegas Golden Knights jersey, which is pretty much a repl replica version, not the authentic Adidas one, which is the James Neal jersey, and with that James Neal jersey, man, I treasure that thing, I do, because James Neal was the first goal scorer for your Vegas Golden Knights. He also grabbed the game winner in that first game. I believe it was against the Dallas Stars in Dallas. Uh, two to one, scoring two late in the third period. And really from that point on, he just kept scoring. He just kept going. And right now he, in his first three games, I believe he's in, he's scored seven goals, if I'm not mistaken, which I believe Tizer surpasses him with the likes of Wayne Gretzky. So, I mean, folks, you might doubt James Neal with, with that salary cap, but guess what? The man is tough as nails. He's a rock star when he's scoring. I mean, I vouch for James Neal. I vouch for James Neal. And even though he's in a Pacific Division rival team in the Edmonton Oilers, I wish nothing but the best for James Neal. And when I see real deal Neil at the Fortress, you know, boys and girls, I'm going to be wearing my fucking James Neal jersey. You know I'm going to be clapping. You know, golf clap. You know, just golf clap if James Neal scores. But, hey, that's it's part of the game. Part of the game. You lose your players and people move on. But, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and move on because we are almost at the house. Follow me at the Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content, boys and girls. Fuck off.